Hello and welcome to Light of the Saber and as all of the Han Solo gubbins is out of the way I thought this would be a good one to start off a bit of a rant but here we go. So I was taking a look through uh, some of the footage that we got with the Han Solo film and as many have probably already noticed we got what looks like a prototype TIE fighter. Many people have made the connection with the TIE fighter bomber but for me I thought now nah, I'm going to look a little bit closer. And it turns out that that isn't actually, or doesn't appear to be, a uh, bomb capsule of any sort. It appears to be a secondary turret, which then uh, caused me to create the link between the uh, uh, this new TIE Fighter and the Special Forces TIE Fighter that we see in Episode 7 and 8, or the SF TIE Fighter for short. Uh, although it would make sense how these two translate into each other, it seems rather bizarre how you would then... Uh, squish two pilots into one confined location where as uh, the possibilities of a pilot coming out unscathed would be dramatically increased if there were two separate cockpits. Uh, this from a design uh, point of view and also valuing human life which the Empire doesn't seem to do much of granted but for me personally I believe that this uh, prototype TIE fighter would have been better in saving lives as if the main capsule is destroyed, which would probably be the main target for any uh, resistance craft. Uh, if that were then destroyed, the smaller cockpit could spin out of control, but would at least then have the chance of a controlled crash. Whereas with the SF TIE Fighter, if you are hit, you are dead. Uh, also something that I wanted to do, and it's just going to start off as just kind of like thought of the day kind of thing that we seem to be doing on uh, Light of the Saber, the Facebook page, although we never seem to do it every day. Uh, this thought today, uh, for me, would probably have to be uh, the fact that in the Han Solo trailer we get to see the dice. Now it raises the question, although we may get the dice explained and then the sentimental value to Leia and Han will finally be uh, revealed to us. It does uh, lead uh, me to the question of does a film require other films and other TV series like Clone Wars and Rebels in order to make scenes make more sense or in order to make a whole plot better. It seems to uh, appear most in things like the prequels, where we get the Clone Wars in order to make Jar Jar, for example, a more compelling character, where um, certain Jedi become more fleshed out and whereas they were boring or annoying, they turn out to be really, really interesting and in-depth characters. Uh, I think it was Guy who brought this up in one of the, the uh, State of the Galaxy podcasts, and I am completely with him on it, that it I don't believe that you should require these extra bits of media in order to improve on a story. That's all of it for today, that's all I wanted to talk about, but if you have any thoughts please put them down in the comments section below or feel free to actually put them directly onto our Facebook page which is Light of the Saber. See you guys next time, may the force be with you.